Society is making a mighty move against Target in this nation. Every woman should be offended by the moves of this store. Jesus Christ himself has sent us out here to rebuke this store. We have his spirit and his spirit has moved many in multiple states to rebuke this store. This very store that has taken away, stripped us of our rights. You spineless American Christians. You spineless American Christians. You lukewarm, pukewarm Christians. No wonder God and Jesus spills you out of his mouth. You can't stand up for anything. You got no spine. You're a bunch of sissy boys and cowards, you American Christians. I blame this on American Christianity. And well, I've got news for you, Target. Almighty God is still almighty. Amen. I think he's going to make a public example of you. Amen. It's against this country and against the big corporations that think they're untouchable. Yes. Or the government that thinks it's untouchable. Amen. Well, if the second largest one thumbs his nose at God and goes down, nobody is safe. No one is immune to the wrath of God. Amen. Do you think Target's the most wicked corporation and God's just going to punish that one? No. It's a witness against everyone. Homosexuals are not winners, they're losers. Trannies are not winners, they're losers. They're losing out on all the blessings of God and their kingdom of righteousness because they refuse, they refuse to live life the way that God made it to be. I don't blame it on the wicked. The wicked are doing what the wicked do. But the Christians are not supposed to stand up for righteousness. And what do you do? You sleep in your sock sheets and drink your mocha lattes. The war's out here, people. Amen. They're coming after the homosexuals. Are coming after Amen. your children. Amen. They can't procreate. Better they stand can't up. Have children. They want your children. That's why it's such a high pedophilia rate. Look it up, people. I'm not saying anything that's not true. How can you defend this? Can't you see how corrupt you are when you defend this? When you defend the policy of the devil, you are surely in the wrong. How can you say you're in the right when you're defending what the devil wants? Amen. And you know what? It's not just that you think you're right. You violently think that you're right even though you're on the side of the devil. You violently think you're right even though you're on the side of Satan. How corrupt is your heart have to be to defend the devil?